parts of San Diego are under an excessive heat warning, and that comes with a separate warning about rattlesnakes. CBS 8's Shannon Handy spoke with an expert who says you should expect to see more of them in the coming days. Snake wrangler Bruce Ireland says last week's rain forced snakes out of their burrows. He's captured several rattlesnakes so far this week and expects the next couple days to be even busier. We had seven calls Sunday, five on Saturday, and today I'm sure we'll have many. Bruce Ireland with San Diego Snake Wranglers has been keeping busy lately. Of the 12 calls he responded to this past weekend, nine involve rattlesnakes. They're cold-blooded, as you know. They come out to warm up in the morning. Then when it gets super hot like this, they look for shade. They go down animal burrows. They hide under whatever they can find, including going into homes. And then about 5 o'clock when that sun starts to come down, they come back out and start hunting again. While summer marks snake season here in San Diego, Bruce says more will be coming out this week due to the extreme hot temperatures as well as the recent rain from Tropical Storm Hillary. The rain pushed snakes out of their burrows because their burrows flooded. So that brings them up to the, to the surface. So the day after the storm, we had a lot of calls. Uh, and now that the sun's out, uh, and it's warm. Uh, our our afternoons have been very busy. So Southern Pacific. Bruce posts about his work on his Instagram page, Wrangler Bruce, where he has 145,000 followers. Hey, buddy. You're not allowed to be in there. He mostly sticks to North County, but says snakes can be found anywhere, including along our coast. And not just rattlesnakes. This weather brings out all types. That's a big gopher that ate your rat that would have been in here. Here's video Bruce shot on Saturday capturing a gopher snake near Tamarack Beach in Carlsbad. Not a rattlesnake. Bruce says if you come across a snake, particularly a rattlesnake, give it space so it doesn't feel threatened. They're not evil. They're not out to get us. They're not going to chase you. They're not going to jump. They want to be left alone. If it's in or around your home, call a professional. And if you are bitten, seek medical attention immediately by going to a hospital you know has antivenom. In California, the only snakes that we have that we truly have to be worried about as humans or our pets are our rattlesnakes. All the other snakes are harmless and non-venomous. Bruce releases all the snakes he captures back into the wild. His services are donation-based. If you like his information, we've put it up on our website. Just go to CBS8.com and click on this story. For CBS8, I'm Shannon Handy.